The question of the difference between a large studio box lens and a portable lens is a very good question and one that is asked by many, many of our customers. So I'll try to give you the essence of the difference. And the difference really is the design criteria. For a studio box lens like this, this is a top of the line, high definition lens, the central design priority is highest HD performance possible. And to do that, the optical designers will resort to every optical technology that they know. No holds barred, they go all out. They start with large optics. The input glass is this size on a lens like this. That's sensitivity. After that, it's many, many elements, up to three dozen in a lens like this. Every element gives them a new design freedom to fight some of the aberrations and do optimization of many parameters that contribute to the final aesthetic of the image. As a consequence, you end up with a large, heavy lens. Lens like this is 50 pounds. But the performance of such a lens is tremendous at picture center and protected out to the extremities. And that's very important for studio shooting. Studio shooting, a talk show where you might have celebrities who are sitting anywhere in the image plane, the 16 by 9 image plane. You really want everybody to look perfect. And that's what this lens seeks to do. Contrast that with the portable high definition lens. Completely different design criteria here. Lens like this, size and weight. A legacy of 30 years of ENG shooting. Today, there's no ENG lens from any manufacturer that's over four pounds. And an EFP, a high-end uh, production lens, perhaps six pounds. So huge difference in size and weight to a lens like this. And as a consequence, that has a bearing on the optics that can be put inside such a restricted uh, lens. You'll end up with much smaller optics on the input port, therefore somewhat less sensitivity in a lens like this, less elements, because you're trying to keep size and weight down. They'll also try to keep cost down in a lens like this compared to this. So they'll use different optical materials. And the multi-layer coatings that would be used in here, in contrast to those used here, will be different. The ultimate end of the design of a lens like this is optimization in the picture center, which is so crucial in news gathering. You really want everything to be very good in the center and some relaxation of specifications towards the extremities. And that is the essential difference between these two lenses. It is one of the reasons, by the way, that we do emphasize, even with portable cameras in studios, use the box lens because you really do want to get the very best performance in the studio.